How can we give ourselves the highest probability trade entries? Well, that's by using a top-down analysis from the daily 4-hour, 1-hour, 15-minute, 5-minute, and 1-minute time frame. By using a top-down analysis, you can get the advantage by knowing what all the time frames are first of all reaching for and the bias on all the time frames. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Normally I just use the 4 hour, 1 hour and then I go all the way down to the 1 minute time frame, but I know a lot of you guys like to use the daily time frame. So of course I'm also going to include the daily time frame. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is what is the draw on liquidity on the time frame we're currently looking at and also where is price delivering from. And for this first example, we see price reach down into a discount where there lies a fair value gap, which price have recently respected, as we see this one within here. Then we see price also right before going down into that fair value gap, created a immediate rebalance, as I talked about in my recent video. And when price creates a media rebalance, we can anticipate the next two candles to be expansion candles. But right here, when price stepped down into this fair value gap, we didn't get any expansion candles going lower, taking out this low down here. So that means we could anticipate this fair value gap to act as support and price no longer reaching lower. And that we see for this next candle, which expands higher, creating a change in state of delirium. So the bias on the daily time frame is clearly bullish. And now that we know the bias is bullish on the daily time frame, we can go down into the forward time frame and see what the bias is there. And also, lastly, we have to look at the draw on liquidity. And we have seen the price have just ran this high. So now we could actually anticipate this high up here to act as the next draw on liquidity or for price reaching down for this change in state of delivery. Down here on the 4 hour time frame, we can see that we have the daily draw on liquidity, also the daily change in state of delivery, and lastly the high price recently just ran. Now what is the draw on liquidity? Well we see we don't really have any form of fair value gap to act as resistance for price then going lower. We only just have that high on the daily time frame. And also we have this fair value gap which price could draw towards to fill orders or the smart money to fill orders then price moving higher taking out that draw on liquidity and that is also where we can anticipate price delivering from as we have also have seen that we have made no current retracement with just expanding higher after also sweeping the sell side liquidity which we have down here so now let's see if price is willing to make a retracement down into this fair value gap. And right here we see price makes a retracement. So now we could anticipate price taking out this draw on liquidity. And now let's go down into the one hour time frame. Down here on the one hour time frame, we can see that we have the draw on liquidity and also the four hour fair value gap, which is paired with this one hour fair value gap and we could actually anticipate this being a breakaway gap then price created a immediate rebalance and failed to create two expansion candles as this is not an expansion candle that means we could anticipate higher prices so let's see if price is willing to move higher creating a market structure shift And right here we see price makes a close above that high, creating a market structure ship. And as I talked about in my last video, we have this kind of B shape, which give, gives confirmation for higher prices. And lastly, we just created a immediate rebalance, which is successful as we see we have an expansion candle. Now let's go down into the 15 minute time frame and see if we can find something there. On the 15 minute time frame, we can see price made a retracement into this fair value gap, which was actually paired with the one hour and four hour fair value gap. That means the next inversion fair value gap, which price creates to the upside, is going to be higher probability. As we consider this being 
the smart money reversal. And right here we actually have a inversion fair value gap. Then we would put our stop loss if we were to take a trade entry at this low, as this would be considered the smart money reversal. And then target the high on the one hour time frame, which we consider the market structure shift. But if we were to take a trade entry based on this up here, being a draw on liquidity, then we would have to go down into the one or five minute time frame. And we also see that price created a immediate rebalance within here. Then we have two expansion candles. So now price should have the target at this high and there should be a clear draw on liquidity. The five minute time frame, we can see that we have our draw on liquidity up here. And also the price made a retracement down into this fair value gap, which was made of this fair value gap down here. So now we would anticipate there being an inversion for a value gap within here, which we could take a trade entry on. On the two minute time frame, we can see the five minute fair value gap. And also the price just ran relative equal lows. Also, we have this right here, which is an immediate rebalance. And this we could use as a confirmation that price is no longer willing to move lower and now willing to move higher. And right above that immediate rebounds, we have a potential inversion fair value gap. Already, we see that price failed to make two expansion candles, and that means we can anticipate price moving higher. And right here, price makes a close above that inversion fair value gap or fair value gap, creating an inversion fair value gap. And that was based on price delivering from this fair value gap down here. So we can see that this immediate rebalance or failed immediate rebalance turned into an inversion fair value gap. Now we could take a trade entry, then exit the trade entry when price closes below that inversion fair value gap and then take profit at this high up here, which is the draw on liquidity that we had on the daily time frame. Now let's just speed price up. And we can see the price ran that high. And if we just zoom in here, we can also see the price made a immediate rebalance right here. Right after that, make two expansion candles then we would actually have been stopped out as this is internal range liquidity and when price takes out internal range liquidity we put our stop loss at break even but still in general the trade idea worked and price ran the draw on liquidity which we had on the daily time frame now again on the daily time frame we can see a burst example where price swept by side liquidity and that means we can now anticipate price moving lower reaching for a draw on liquidity and that could be these relative equal lows which we have down here. So already on the daily time frame, we have seen where price is delivering from and also where price is most likely to draw towards, which is the draw on liquidity. On the four hour time frame, we can see that we have the relative equal lows down here. And also the price made a market structure shift confirming lower prices. And in the meantime, price also swept this minor buy side liquidity. So in general, on the four hour time frame, price still looks very bearish. And the delivery is currently having from this fair value gap where we see the bodies respect to the consequent encouragement. So really, the drawn liquidity is still the equal lows. And price is delivering from a fair value gap or a bearish fair value gap. Now we can go down into the one hour time frame. Down here on the one hour time frame, there's really just not much to see other than we have the drawn liquidity again and we can get a more clear view of the market structure shift. Otherwise, price still looks very bearish on the one hour time frame. Now let's drop down into the 15 minute time frame. On the 15 minute time frame, the bias now becomes way more clear as we can see price is respecting bearish PDRAs but disrespecting bullish signatures of PDRAs. 
And an example is right here. We have the V shape, which often indicates higher prices, but then price reach up into this fair valley gap. And after that, disrespected that V shape. And currently price has made this V shape. So now let's play price forward, going up to the AM session and see what is going on. Now right here at 8.30 opening, we can see that price made a retracement up into this fair valley gap, reaching the consequent encouragement and currently is trading lower. And that also means we could anticipate lower prices. Now let's go down into the lower time frame and see if we can take a trade entry based on the bias being bearish. On the five minute time frame, right at 8.30 opening, price reach up into this inversion fair valley gap and is currently moving lower, also creating this market structure shift. So it really comes, becomes clear that price is willing to move lower and reach for the equal lows, which we have all the way down here. Now let's drop down into the five minute time frame and see if, or sorry, the one minute time frame and see if we could find a trade entry based on price being bearish as we have a bearish strong liquidity and we know where price is delivering from. Before going down into the one minute time frame, we just have to take a quick look at how price is doing on the two minute time frame. So we saw the price fail to reach the consequent encroachment with the body, but still stayed in the under portion of that inversion fair valley gap. Also, price created an immediate rebalance, but as we see, that immediately got disrespected, moving lower. So that means we can now drop down into the one minute time frame, as we also have got a confirmation on the two minute time frame. Here on the one minute time frame, we can see that price made a retracement up into that five minute inversion fair valley gap, also respecting this SIBI in the meantime. And we can see that SIBI's consequent encouragement perfectly lines up with the five minute inversion fair value gap consequent encouragement. And price also ran buy side liquidity, creating little displacement above that high. Then in the meantime, where price made the retracement up into that five minute inversion fair value gap, we saw that price also created a fair value gap, which would be a high probability inversion fair value gap as price delivered from free PDA race. Then we could enter when price made the close below the inversion fair valley gap, which would be the worst case scenario, or enter when price made the retracement up into that inversion fair valley gap. Then put our stop loss above the inversion fair valley gap, or exit the trade entry when price closed above the inversion fair valley gap. Then target internal range liquidity. But that would only make a 0 0.8 risk reward ratio. So in that case, we could target previous sessions low which would be the London low, as that is a drawn liquidity in itself. And that will make a 3.6 risk reward ratio. And we could also target the equal lows, which was our draw on liquidity, but it would be a lot more risky holding our trend tree all the way down to those equal lows. And we see that price does manage to take out the London lows. Now also let's just see if price would manage to take out the equal lows which we had all the way down here. And we see that price with success ran the relative equal lows which we had on the daily time frame, 4 hour time frame, 1 hour time frame, 15 minute time frame, 5 minute time frame and 1 minute time frame as our draw on liquidity.